What's up everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a generic arcade stick with your RetroPy um, Raspberry Pi system. So this one connects via USB port. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this into our Raspberry Pi. Now once we've done that, we can go to our main, main menu using our regular gamepad. Doesn't matter if this is Bluetooth or wired, we can hit start. We will go down to configure input. Are you sure you want to configure input? Yes. And now it's going to say two game pads detected. So it's picking up my, uh, currently I'm using an 8-bit do Bluetooth um, game pad, but the second one is obviously going to be our arcade stick, which is plugged in through that USB port. So we're actually going to hold down any button on here. Um, however, first thing I want to just point out if you're using this one is a um, Nagason, I think it's called. It's the um, brand up here. Not too familiar with it, but I found this pretty cheap on Amazon. I think it was, I want to say like 35 bucks or so. So, first thing you want to do, if you have a mode button, go ahead and hit that. It's going to light up over here. Um, if you don't, it's still going to connect. It's just not going to function properly. So that's something that I um, experienced after kind of playing around with this for about an hour, wondering why it wasn't working. Everything was working properly on here, except for when I went to the game collection menus and I was trying to go up and down to, you know, just navigate through the games. It wasn't going, which way wasn't it going? It wasn't going up. So I would hit this up to try and go up to like the, the game above and it was taking me to the left. So it was kind of weird. I couldn't figure out. I reconfigured the settings a bunch of times and the only solution was to hit that mode button then I went through the configuration process again and it worked perfectly so I have heard that with other generic versions that have the mode you do have to select that so um, you don't get great detailed um, instructions with these when you get them because they are so inexpensive so just a tip it will save you hours and hours of uh, frustrations so all right, so we are going to hold down any button on here just so it will populate on our configuration screen. So if we hold down this button here, you'll see it says the gamepad. Now we can go through our mapping process. So now we have all these different um, icons here next to each button and all the generic ones kind of have different ones. Sometimes they're labeled A, B, X, Y, like the um, typical gamepads. This one seems to be more of a um, PlayStation controller kind of icon look, although it's not 100%. Um, you can still kind of make out the shapes that they were going for here. However, it's not super easy to figure out exactly what button um, needs to be configured with which option in your RetroPie system. So I've kind of mapped out what I like. Again, everybody can kind of go through and create their own options, but this is the version I'm going to show you guys how to set up here is what you would do for like an 8-bit O um, arcade stick. So that just makes it a little easier. There's really no instructions out there that you're going to get with a um, generic arcade stick like this, where it's going to tell you exactly what needs to be mapped and how. So we're just going to demonstrate. We'll go through the um, different options here and um, take it from there. So first things first, it's going to say D-pad up. So we're going to take our joystick. We're going to go up. D-pad down. We're going to go down. Um, D-pad left. Go left. D-pad right, go right. Um, start is going to be here. Select is going to be here. Now for A, we are going to go with... So for A, we're going to go with this button here, which is the, I believe they were going for an X. Um, for the B option, we're going to go with the L2. And again, this isn't going to be the same for every generic um, arcade stick out there, but if you just go off of an eight button um, configuration here, you can kind of map these out exactly how I'm doing it here. So for the X button here, we're going to select this button. For the Y button, we're going to select this top left button here. Now for left shoulder, we are going to put the um, triangle on this one, but it's going to be this button here. Now for the right shoulder, we're going to do the one right below it. Now for left trigger, we're going to do the R1 or the top right button. 
And then for the right trigger, we're going to do the one right below it. So it's going to be the bottom right button. Now, for the left thumb, right thumb, and all the analogs, we're actually not going to use these. So we can just hit any of these buttons here that we've previously configured. And we're just going to bypass all of those and go down to our hotkey. So we'll just hold down this button just to pass through here. And it'll say for each one that we skip here, it'll say not defined, which is fine. It's just, this is more for like a PlayStation controller setup um, or N64. Xbox, any of those that have those extra buttons on there. All right, so now for the hotkey, um, we can actually select um, a combination of buttons or, or any of these. I'm actually going to set it to the clear button here. So we'll just hit that. Or maybe not. We'll, we'll go and hit, um, actually the select button makes a little bit more sense. And that's going to be the same configuration that if we did the um, regular gamepad controller where we would hit. Now we've already used the select button once, so now it'll be the start and the select together in order to leave game. So that'll be your hotkey configuration. We've programmed it to select, but in order to use it as a hotkey, you'll have to hit the start and select both down at the same time. So we've gone ahead and configured this. We're gonna hit okay, so we can just hit our A button, which we had configured to this button here. That's going to load in these settings, save them. Now we should be good. So we can see that this is powering our um, system here. So we'll go down to quit, we'll hit A. Um, we can actually hit our B button to back out of this. So we can see that this has done its job here. So we'll jump into, let's go over and just demo this real quick. We'll jump over to Arcade, since that's probably the best use of an arcade stick would be with the arcade games so we will go into um, you can actually do any of these would be perfect but let's go into arcade games we'll hit a let's find something good um, hit select let's go find pac-man that's an easy one to demo um, we'll hit a here Pac-Man's not in this one. I think it's in MAME, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll go back, hit B. Um, actually classic games, right? Old school classics. Let's hit select, jump over to the P. There we go. Midway Games Pac-Man. All right, so we'll let this load for a second or two. And we'll just demo. Just how this works exactly. This is an easy one. Obviously, you're not using too many of these buttons here, but you can see in the corner, it picked up both controllers. So we'll throw some coins in there, adding coins into an arcade game. So it's gonna be that select button, and then we'll hit start. That's how we get out of games. Go back to our main menu here. Um, I'll just hit um, start to close that out. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys, um, I get, actually get a lot of these questions. How do you set up something like this? Just because these um, icons here for each button really don't um, correlate to anything that we'd have on our screen when it's asking for the configuration inputs. Um, so I just wanted to walk through that. This is for an eight button configuration. This is just the setup that I typically use. I find it works best for a lot of like the fighting games, um, you know, the Capcom, stuff like that. Just works super well and um, just makes it a little bit less confusing. You know, a lot of these generic ones, like I said before, they just don't come with great instruction manuals. I mean, even the 8 um arcade stick, the instructions are um, actually non-existent for Raspberry Pi systems and, and RetroPie. So um, it makes for setting these up a bit of a challenge. So hope this helps. Um, if you enjoyed this video, 
give us a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great tutorials, um, gameplay, demos, and walkthroughs. And then we're kind of going through a lot of different things that people have trouble with with their RetroPie or Raspberry Pi systems um, just to kind of make it easier for everybody. So um, definitely check us out on YouTube. And, of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.